I'm ugly and I have way too much caffeine in my hands and that can only mean one thing, we're working out today. I mean, listen, you can probably watch like my last three videos where I say that like, sorry, I've been MIA, but sorry, I've been MIA. I've been moving in to my new apartment and getting into school and everything. But the good news is, is that moving into my own apartment means I have a reliable space. This is my reliable space, say hello to exercise and to film and that's really just what's been missing out of my life. I guess I could give you guys like a little tour. Everything isn't put up in my room yet, but I guess I can show you around. It's a little messy, so shut up. You don't pay rent here. So when you walk in, you're really just greeted with my unmade bed and my SZA tapestry that my best friend got me. Over here, I'm gonna do a Polaroid wall of me and the people that I like. And then over here, I'm putting Rihanna. Come on, girl, there she is. And then this is going here. And then this is my very messy bathroom. A few highlighted things I'd like to mention is my LED lights. I always want LED lights in my room, not to be like, not in like a TikToker kind of way, but in a vibe setting kind of way, I don't know. This is my essential oil diffuser. It was really cheap on Amazon and literally be putting me to sleep. Here, let me change the vibe for you. This is my record player. I've always wanted a record player because I just have always wanted to feel elitist and like I'm better than everyone else. And everyone knows that if you have a record player that you're better than everyone else. I also really love this thing. Normally, all of this stuff would be organized into here and it rotates and makes it easy to locate my things. Oh, and I can't forget about my charging hub. It charges my phone, it charges my Apple Watch, and it charges my wireless headphones over there all at the same time, and it's been pretty great. Those are some of my favorite things in my room. If you want to check any of those things out, I'll put all the links to a bunch of stuff I got from my room in my description box. Okay, so the reason you're here probably isn't for that. It's probably to watch me fling my leg around. I'm going to be honest, haven't flung my leg around in a minute. I've been busy, so today's going to be kind of a getting back in shape. Let's see where we're at day. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the workout. I guess I could put on some Taekwondo pants and look like I actually exist in life. Did I wear the whole thing? Absolutely not. Be happy I'm wearing the pants. I sometimes miss the old days when all I had to focus on was how high my kick went. I remember going to my dojang and literally just watching videos and videos of different martial artists and getting inspired and then going on the floor and I would train for two, three, sometimes four hours just on the smallest of details, just trying to reach that goal of being the martial arts I can be. And as I expand into adulthood, you know, more things become important, your world expands and the only thing that matters isn't just how high your leg goes anymore you have bills to pay you have ambitions that maybe expand beyond yourself and I very much feel like it's not something I wish change I very much like that I have you know bigger ambitions and other things that I'm focused on but sometimes I just miss the simplicity of only focusing on my kicks and I want to try to create that space in my life again where if for an hour a day I go out there and I do what I love I do martial arts and the only thing I have to focus on for that hour is is where my leg goes or where it goes even if I just have that hour of focus I think that would be really good because I very much trouble to focus struggle to focus sometimes I very much um, am also someone who is there for everyone all the time so I end up not being there for myself and I remember when I first started my YouTube channel I was religious I was always innovating I got two uploads a day on time on a schedule and you know now that I am where I've always wanted to be with that and I'm self-employed and I, I have nothing structuring my schedule except myself sometimes it's really hard to prioritize what I need to do versus what I want to do and you know that's just kind of part of figuring out adulthood and, and moving up and aging but it has been kind of a struggle finding balance recently I just got back into my classes I just started um, seeing my friends again they've been gone all summer and so just balancing like social life and you know working out and doing my school work and f growing my business sometimes the balance often falls and the only thing to do in that situation is to set a schedule and work towards it and kind of discipline yourself you know it's a corny saying but 
I'm all about passion, but passion might ignite the flame, but it's not going to keep the flame burning. You know, you have to attend to it. You have to, you know, water the plant every single day, even the days where it seems like a chore, because that is the only way that it is going to actually grow into something beautiful. And I've been really bad at prioritizing myself and my goals and my ambitions and what I want to do and I really just want to make sure I create the space to just fall in love with martial arts again and fall in love with what I'm doing again creating content I really want to you know switch up some of my content I want to you know use my martial arts in other ways which is why I want to start making these training vlogs again I feel like I've said that so many times but I'm just always afraid but my vibe right now is kind of I think doing a mix of educational tutorials and also just vlogs because I want to invite you guys into my world outside of martial arts and I know a lot of people request that but it's just always kind of scared to take that leap of faith and try something different when you know you work so hard to make one thing successful and then it's like you want to go through a change and you're worried that all your hard work will go to waste but if you don't change if you don't innovate then you become stagnant and you become boring and I feel like I've been in such a creative rut because I've been focusing on what I think people want from me rather than focus on just being the best creator I can be and trying to you know level up that way so yeah that's just some of my thoughts recently and i'm really excited to create content again and i hope you guys enjoyed this workout um throw back to when i would do training vlogs and i always ended up down here on the floor i think that there's something we can all take away from this video there's two things one i'm out of shape <laughs> bad i almost don't want to show whatever i just did because like i haven't seen it but it felt ugly, <laughs> but that would not be very authentic, you know, sometimes. Even people whose entire job it is to kick their leg, fall off the wagon. So, you know, that leads me to the second takeaway of this video. This is, this is the call, you know, quarantine, COVID, pandemic had us all messed up. But, you know, find a little spot on your floor and just move your body. That's always been my philosophy with working out. Like, I've never been good with structured workout plans. I'm just like, get out there. Don't think about what you're going to do. Don't think about how you're going to do it. Don't think about all the other variables. Literally, just move your feet to a place where you can work out and start moving your body. And once you start moving your body, you'll be motivated to move your body more. And then you'll go. I lied. There's one more takeaway, and that is that sweat is a great moisturizer because my skin is kind of looking bomb right now, you know.